Hi everybody, I'm Scott Stewart with the University of Tennessee Extension Service. I want to kind of introduce everybody to a relatively new pest on the block when it comes to soybean, and that's the kudzu bug. The kudzu bug was introduced almost a decade ago around Atlanta has been slowly spreading its way across the state and now it's kind of reached the heartland of West Tennessee and we need to learn how to manage it and control this pest and, and recognize it as well. Uh, so the kudzu bug is, is from Asia originally. It's really a unique looking insect. It, it's kind of square in shape, about the size of a pencil eraser. It lays uh, eggs in two rows of masses and the nymphs hatch out and the nymphs and the adults all feed on essentially the plant sap. They don't eat leaves, they feed on the juices of a soybean plant. As the name implies, they also get on kudzu, and in fact, we're getting a big migration right now from kudzu into our soybean. And, and that's the concern, of course, is the impact it might have on the yield of soybean. Now, it takes a lot of insects and some time to cause some economic damage, but they also have the reputation of developing a lot of insects, and you wanna wait till you actually start catching immatures in your sweep net our threshold is not based on adults, it's based on immatures and we're using a threshold of one immature per sweep net. They're not particularly difficult to control with insecticides, you just have to time the insecticide well. I think the real take home point is not to overreact but to manage and scout your soybeans as needed. They move in, they move in on the edges first and in pretty large numbers you might see adults migrating into the field. What you typically don't want to do is spray the adults. You actually want to let the adults come in, settle, lay eggs, let the immature populations develop, and then make one well-timed insecticide application. When you do that, you usually only have to make one well-timed insecticide application. If you jump the gun and spray these adults as they're migrating in, you usually get the opportunity to spray again.